Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome, Amiibo! Today, we got a lot of, a lot of stuff to do, and not a huge amount of time, because I overslept. <laughs> that, though, that's, that's what happens on days that, um... Sit, the top of the tree keeps tripping me up. I keep thinking I'm seeing something on our beach, but it's just the top of a tree. <laughs> Yeah, that does be what happens when I, uh, can't sleep for a while, is I'll end up just massively oversleeping for a couple days, and then my sleep schedule will be completely busted for a while, and then, you know, just how it tends to work. Let's get all our flowers watered today! I mean, on top of just the normal stuff, we have Crazy Red, we have gyroids to get, we have a lot of villagers to talk to, and I want to start clearing trees. That, that is my goal for today, is to start clearing trees. So... Hey, Sky. Hello, Steven, you seem chipper as always. What can I do for you? What's the latest? Sometimes when I live in my house, I get kind of creeped out. If you're free right now, it'd be great to come over and keep me company. I mean, I am free right now. That sells it. Let's get going. Here we are. Give me just a moment. I mean, living so close to where Crazy Red sets up, I can't... I can't blame her. Hey, it's the centipede. It's the squid and centipede both living on her house. No, house. Yeah, living on her house. Brain living on her table together. Just making myself at home? Okay. <laughs> nah. I am very much that person that just never sits down. I'm gonna try sitting on my middlemost sofa if you haven't already. It's the perfect shape just for lounging and reading. I mean, if you say so. There, I've tried sitting on it. I'm a very awkward person when it comes to, like, visiting people. It's not much, but it's home. Tried to do little things here and there to make it comfortable. I mean, it looks pretty comfortable. I I remember, I believe, I had to gift you back your bed because you were trying to sell your bed. Because you're crazy. But, you know. And now you sleep in the middle of the room because you're kind of crazy, but you know what? It, it works. You got some plants. Got a piano. That I can ruin the music with because it's just how that works. Yeah. I'm trying to create a space to keep my mind and body healthy. My only aloe aloe helps with that. Helps me relax and makes the air cleaner too. I can speak. Oh, it's up here. I was like, wait, but those aren't... It's this one. Centipede. 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 Hey, you're, you're repeating. I... Sky, I want to... I want to keep chilling with you. But I really gotta get going. I do apologize. I think it's great. Because, see, the thing is, where I did oversleep, I, um... Yeah, I, I don't have the most amount of time today, but I still want to do what I wanted to do. So... I also don't want today to be stupidly long, so I might honestly, like... Deal with Crazy Red, then, like, cut away to do the rest of the daily stuff. 
But I just water the flowers. This is this is this is a habit to get into. Just water your flowers. Your watering can can never run out. Just water flowers all the time. All the flowers. Sky, you are not a flower. You do not need watered. Now, just making sure there's nothing right here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, Crazy Red. What do you get for me today? It's it's gonna be something, and I'm honestly, once again, I I need a guide for this stuff because I don't know art. Just tell me we're here. I'm pleased to see you back again. I'll tell you this week's items are as rare as they come. Almost. Okay. So let's start here. Um, that's the. Frisk just knocked something down. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. This one is a fake. The girl's too tall. This one. Let's see. Um, she's looking to the right. This one's genuine. Well, there's the Mount Fuji, but way too big. Um, and this one, I believe her hat is... Yeah, it's not blue. So yeah, it is. It is this one. Whoa! I see you've got eyes for that graceful painting there. I say it has eyes for you, too. I say it's quite amazing. Between you and me, I'm selling it for just... Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's your only genuine painting, Red. Mail it to us as soon as you exhibit. Yeah. I need to store letters. So I actually have room for stuff. Risk is really being a pain in the ass today. She's got no what she's getting into. I don't have to cut again. But jeez. There are times where I swear she enjoys being put in timeout. That is the only explanation. Hello, Gabby. Oh my gosh, my psychic powers are beyond strong today. I totally knew that Carlos was thinking what Carlos was thinking, and now I want to try them. Out on you. So let me begin. Give me your honest answer to this question. It's your favorite thing ever. Hmm. Do do I do I do I go pretty pretty sly and try to try to work my way into her DMs? Um Cause like she's not a thing though. And I mean I am taken. So, Rainbow Sherbert. I got it. Since you are hungry, did I get it right? Oh, don't tell me, I'll use my powers. Oh, I really did? I'm not, though. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I won't burst your bubble, but I'm not hungry. Gabby. Definitely don't come over here, Gabby. You'll ruin the money rock. Ma magical, mystical money rock of money. Okay, how much inventory space do I have? Six. So I can do all the bags. Then I can do all the coins. Three, four. We are also, I think as I think I mentioned, we're gonna start donating towards the um, the museum renovation today. So we're we're gonna really hope for uh, some full sales. 
that we can sell. Because I don't have the most time today, so. And as I mentioned before, this is by choice. Like, I technically have all the time in the world. But, like, I don't... I don't want to miss out on time spent with uh, my girlfriend. You know, the namesake of the town and all that. <laughs> so... Fundraiser to add an exhibit room to the second floor of the museum has started. Fishing tourneys this Saturday. It's... What is today? Wednesday. Okay. I can never keep track of the days of the week. Hey, Lobo. I'm impressed that you're surviving our room. Want to talk to me? Let's talk. I'm thinking about redecorating my room when I want to replace my cabin clock. Definitely. Still need something about the same size. I got a lot of clocks. I can take a look through my clocks. While we're here, we may as well do our snowman. Snowman bingo. Like, I'm gonna cut away. Also me. <laughs> There's just been so much happening all at once that, like... Now... It might be 14. Uh, 19. Nah, you're melting away tomorrow, my friend. Nope. 44, maybe, or 41. I don't have 41. I don't have that number. Can you literally say you were perfect? Here you are, giving me bad numbers. Hey, Jeremiah. Whoop. Did not mean to bump you with the shovel. Oh, hey, so I saw this movie last night about a guy who travels the... Oh, no. Jeremiah. I want to have adventures, too. At least one adventure. So I decided to move someplace new. Moving on the 23rd. I mean... Th Jeremiah, this sounds like a very rushed decision. This doesn't sound like your heart is actually in moving. You just saw a movie and think it would be fun to move. I didn't expect you to try and stop me. Now what should I do? I'm getting pulled in two directions. Ah, the pulling hurts. Okay, 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 I give up. It's settled. I'll stay put here in Sapphire. So I guess we'll still be neighbors after all. Like, I feel kind of bad, but like, his reasoning was entirely, Hey, I watched this movie literally last night. And now I've decided I'm moving. Like, that is a very irresponsible decision, and I would be a bad friend to Jeremiah to let him go through with it. Like... That, that's just, it's just not, it's just not what good friends do. You don't just let your friends move away on a whim that could utterly destroy them. Now I'm probably going to cut away so I can continue looking for all this stuff, build our snowman, yeah. Wait, it just occurred to me, this is a big fish. We got a big fish here. Not in the right spot. Ah, I couldn't see it cutting away. Ooh, these two are talking. Hey, Gabby, I'm not one to talk, but. You should really watch what you eat. Huh? You trying to lecture me? You don't need to worry because I do pay attention to what I eat. I make sure to eat all a lot of different foods to get a totally balanced diet. 
It's like, hey, coconut cake in the morning, panna cotta in the afternoon. Uh, huh? Huh? What's wrong, Lobo? Is all this food talk making you super hungry? <laughs> no, I just really don't know how to respond to that, Aru. <laughs> Ah. Well, that's the first time that's happened. Uh, I think if we go inside a building and then come back out, the snowball respawns. I hope. Hey, Reese. I'm not really ready to be here yet. Time to hope. I, I honestly might just kind of keep talking, because I don't actually know where the remaining fossils are. I can't find them. So... I don't even remember where that snowball was. I think that one was down here. So if it came back to its default position, then it'll be down here somewhere. So I found it when I was coming up through here, and it is not here. Uh, I think... I'm pretty sure the snowball comes back. I just might need to, like, save and quit or something. Or we could just not build a snowman today. You know what? I'm... I'm gonna keep looking for this... The, these fossils, even though I have absolutely... Well, here's, here's one. I have absolutely no idea where they could be. I could swear we came by right here. We must have went behind Brofina's house. We might as well check in on Brofina while we're here. Oh! I must be a popular girl today. Steven Fuchsia came to visit too, Cluckledoo. So what do you want? What's the latest? Hey Steven, you probably know more about this than I do since you're the mayor and all. But I think you have the option of setting up new rules for Sapphire if you want. And a simple rule change could spice things up around here. Think about it. I will think about it. Good timing. I was just talking with Brofina about your girlfriend. So, what do you, so do you want something? Let's chat. I heard a rumor that Jeremiah wrestled a bear once, and won. You know anything about that? I wonder if that was done with bare hands? Uh, I'm drown myself now. They really want an, a, 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 an ordinance. I might actually set up Night Owl Ordinance. Because, like, with my sleep schedule being the way it is right now, I have a lot more time in the evenings and night than I do during the day. So... Because, you know, I'm barely sleeping. Maybe the fossil's on the other side of here. I don't think I was over here. Yeah, I didn't get this weed. I also keep ignoring these snowflakes, but like... There it is. Okay. Okay, let's go to... Well, first things first. Let's come and... Head into the train station here. And we have this little gyroid guy! Got Lloyd! Good afternoon. Contribution campaign to fund the museum re re renovation. So far they've collected 543 bells. Wow. Even one bell will help. I'll cooperate. Um, let's give... 55,000. That way I have money for, you know, Main Street. Now, um, something I mentioned earlier in the series, but I didn't have the exact number of. I know the exact number of now. 
Um, the Nooklings at TNT Mart will buy things for 80% of their value. So, basically, you get 80% of the value of the item, where Reese gives you 100%. Or you can get your own profit from the thing by putting it up, you know, and having a villager buy it. But then your villagers are going to have awkward, bad-looking houses. Sessa Fossil. Specifically, these fossils. Also, we have a sky present to open. More than one. Let's take a closer look. All of these are quite... Oh, the museum already has all of them. Okay. So, we got money today. How much inventory space do I have? Two spots. Uh, we need to go to retail. And here we are. Reese, I need space. Help me out here, girl. First, what are the turnip prices? Oh, the price keeps going down. Ooh, that is not a good... That is not a good... I kind of want to just sell the sapphire too. But I cannot. Deal. So we got a we got a fridge. Who's coming in? Fuchsia. Hey, girlfriend. Hmm. So many choices. It's hard to decide, girlfriend. It is hard to decide. And I'm gonna leave before you decide you want to buy something completely ugly that does not fit your house in the slightest. Okay. Now let's head back up here onto Main Street, because we now have space, we have the three spaces for buying the, uh, the stuff from the Garden Center. Which we will start with, just so I know for sure I have the space for doing this. I might just sell the sapling to the Nookling. Ooh, another axe. I might need that later. The white pansy. Yes, please. Because, like, axes do break, and we're going to be cutting down some trees, so. Let's pop in here. Ah, yes, a majestic beard. I need this. 8,000 bells. It's a lot of bells. But look at that ma majestic look. Oh, keep it on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's also the ski mask, which, you know, was good luck for me earlier. But not, not anymore. Hmm. Man, there's no pants on this one. It's just an empty mannequin. It's just empty space with like a mannequin top. Um. Yeah, nothing really there. I won. Hey, Sable. I'm good for now. Just want to talk. Well, it's Wednesday or Hump Day, as they call it. Whoever they are. Sometimes that hump looks huge, but let's both try to get over it. I've never had an issue with Wednesdays. I feel weird about that. But then again, for me, literally, like, when I actually had to care about Monday through Friday, which was when I was in school, Monday through Friday were all equally as bad. Like, <laughs> so... I didn't find any one of them easier or harder to deal with. Is that seriously an electric chair? Whoops. No, I didn't. I was just trying to speed through chat. The dialogue. Yes, I am interested, Tommy. Okay. Let's eat this. 
There was a fortune inside. Oh, we literally already have that one. I got a lucky ticket. It's it's for a super mushroom. There's so many of these, and we've already had multiple duplicates. I mean, like, I could I, I could keep the super mushroom, but, like, I really don't have much incentive to. I do want this. You'd have to be a fool to not want one of those. I don't have space to look at anything else, so... Now, we are in the post office because I wish to save some letters. Save mail. Fuchsia. Jeremiah. Sky. Rasher. Carlos. Fuchsia. Sky. <laughs> Fuchsia. Let's sort them that way. I know it's kind of foolish to save all of their letters, but like, I just like their letters. I'm sentimental like that. I'm also pretty mental, but, you know. Well, I have found the snowball. It's over here. And I accidentally scared away a dung beetle, but it's probably also a good thing, because that dung beetle was about to push it literally into the water. The dung beetles are not very smart, and I'm probably going to break this again, trying to even get it out of here. Because I can't control it yet. It's great. I love that. I love that feature. There we go. Now I have a chance to get it out of here, and hopefully I don't break it. Because there's a lot of trees right here, man. Okay. So I got it free. It's good. We're gonna get our, our third snowman going. You know, with three snowmen, you wouldn't think getting bingos would be this difficult. But they really want me to work for these bingos. Okay. Ooh. Jeremiah, please. Yes! I caught a dung beetle! Nah, the joke's just too easy. What my encyclopedia says. I would have been very sad if I just smashed that. Sky, you are kinda in the way, but... Sky, you are kinda in the way, girl. Like, I don't mean to sound rude, but like, why y'all gotta conglomerate right here, right at Snowman Central? Because now Gabby's in the way. Gabby, please. Gabby, Gabby, please. Ga Gabby. Gabby, I need you to not be right there. Can you please- No, Gabby. Gabby, stop fighting this. I will push you into the rip. Don't you dare, Sky. Jesus. Girls, please. I don't need help with this. <laughs> Girls, please. Sky, what are you doing? Lobo, don't encourage them. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this. Ideal sense of balance. I think his head is bigger than his body. But a game of bingo. What we got? Number one? We are number one? 
now, three something. Thirty-three. So we're two away in column four. We're two away in column three. We're one away in the the diagonal there. We're closing in on being at least three off. Like, off on three ways. Like, okay. I was heading to my house before all of that happened. Another sky present. Bam. We should actually open our sky presents. Because we're kind of full up on them. So we got a balloon dresser. And... A balloon vanity! Balloons! Okay. Now the reason I was heading here is so I could grab my axe. Because we, we need our axe. I also need inventory space. So, you know. And yeah, I'm getting kind of full up on this stuff. Um... I will have to go through my clocks for Lobo, as well. Uh... Do, do, do. Let's just put this down here for now, and let's just put this in here for now. We could put our dung beetle in here for now, too. Um, that's probably enough space. Where did I put the axe? It's on one of these pages. There it is. Okay, let's put this away for now. We don't really need our parasol. What we need is violence. Okay. If I end up chopping down a tree that I ultimately end up wanting back, I will just replant it. But, um... This one gotta go. I'll deal with the stumps after. And this will also give us some money as well, because... We don't get any other use for these things, other than, I mean, we do need to plant some more, but we still have the two trees that are completely untouched, so... But yeah, you can see our axe is already cracking. <laughs> so, you know... I may as well also pick up these perfect cherries and sell them as well. It's a bit more money. Okay. This one, gotta go. Tree furniture! Yeah, that's the danger of doing this, is things can still fall out of trees. Astro closet. Um, this is a cherry tree. I want to get rid of this one. Shit! Oh god! Run, 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 No, I'm not gonna make it. Bees. And stung by bees. Yeah, our axe is like on the verge of breaking. Ow. Yep, there it goes. Well, we'll have to get back to that tree later then, because I don't really have the time to... Like, I'm gonna go buy the axe. Well, no, we can finish it today. I've got time. I need to... I need to calm down and stop trying to completely rush through everything. I haven't even watered everything yet. I'll probably just do that, like, my own time. After I'm done recording. Hey Reese. I ain't looking so hot, but I need some money. Brought in some fruit. A beehive. 
3,700. Yeah, that's pretty alright. Now we could use our medicine. Our medicine does fix this. Or we could just deal with it. It does give us bad luck, I believe, but we've already done our luck-based thing for today, which is the money rock. So... I don't see the most value in that. What I do see value in is buying another axe. I went into the wrong store. Rory was in there. We haven't talked to Rory yet today. See, I'm used to going to the Nookling... The Nook store for everything. Hey, Rory. Whoa, Dr. Rust, does your face hurt? Because it's killing me. Just kidding, bro. But that's a serious makeover you got going on there. Oh, you were stung by bees, weren't you? Take some medicine, that'll make you feel better right away, Capital. Now let's just talk. I'm bored. Don't want to talk. If you're going for a jog, I come to the convenience store to buy some stuff before heading back home. That is fair. It's always good to, like, when you're going for, like, a walk or a jog, to have a goal, like, somewhere you want to go. That can backfire if you're going for, like, a jog or a walk to get exercise, and then you go to somewhere and buy, like, sweets. Yeah, that ain't a good thing. Um, you, you can't counteract the entire purpose of going there. And we are back. I haven't forgotten about you, tree. That's right. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one, too. Like, it's all of these trees right here. Like, I may plant some better trees, like, more decorative trees, but they're gonna be fruit trees. That are at least, like, foreign fruit. I know that stump was already there, but, like, I'll get... No, that stump wasn't already there. I will, I will get a better stump. Okay. Oh, yeah. Already looking a lot clearer for paths. Because that's, that's the important part. Is we gotta get a path that comes over here and like... I kind of want it to go behind Sky's house so it can come in at a direct cardinal angle. It's like, this stump will probably be fine. This is the one that was already here. It can just kind of meld with the path. But yeah, we, we've cleared trees, we've done some stuff. I was going to enact a ordinance, but I don't feel like going and getting money out right now. Now we have really nothing else to sell, so... I think I'm just going to end things off. We got a bee sting. It's, it's time to end things off. Um, we're slowly making progress on the town. Wait, uh, Lobo. Lobo wanted a clock replacement. Let's actually go through our clocks really quick before we end off. Uh, where is some of our clocks? Time clock. Hmm. Ice clock. You know what I think he needs? I think he needs a polka dot clock. Let's go give him the polka dot clock. We also have the bug to donate, but I think I'll do that, like, tomorrow. Voice cracks, ahoy. Okay, now, is Lobo still kicking around up here? Probably not. I may need to cut away so I can find Lobo. 
I'm basically just listening for movement. I could go by the megaphone and then give that a go, but I don't think... I don't think I have the ability to do that with my, my lemon. Because I don't think I have set up the ability to do that with my lemon. Um... Lobo, where are you, my friend? Now that's Sky. He might be back over near his house. I'm basically just listening for footsteps. I think I already said that. There's Jeremiah. There's Gabby again. There he is! Hey, buddy. I got your clock. Whoa, what's up with your face? It's quite a sight to see. Man, only a rookie gets stung by bees. It's your first time trying to catch one? Nah, it's cutting down a tree. Your good looks are wasted when you spend time looking like that. Some medicine already. I, I have a clock for you. You likey this polka dot clock? Clock? For clock? I'm a piece of furniture for the floor rather than something for my wall. Sorry, I'm picky. Okay, so it's a floor clock. Um, okay. Well, I'll I'll find something then. But we will definitely be finding it for him tomorrow because it's it's Yeah. I don't even know exactly what to give him, so. Uh, there we go. Let's get our light turned off, and then hop into bed and rest to this, this, our weary face. With that, I thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you back here tomorrow for more Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. See you all then.